The Math Mites present Mathville. Welcome to Mathville. Today we're going to go inside Mathville and see how our friends are solving addition problems. Today we get to meet one of our favorite friends, DC, which stands for decomposing and composing. He wears a hard hat and carries a mallet. When he's doing his math problems, he likes things to be very organized and put in friendly numbers like 10, 20, 30, and 40. If he doesn't see friendly numbers, sometimes he might have a temper tantrum and use his mallet. Watch out, DC, eight plus five. These two numbers are not friendly to add. DC is thinking about his friendly numbers and trying to figure out what he might do. He has an idea. He's going to take his mallet and he's going to smash the number five and decompose it into two and three. I wonder why he's doing this. He's looking perhaps at the number eight to decide how he can make a friendly number. When he goes to his eight and two, he's very happy because eight and two do make a friendly number. Eight plus two equals the friendly number 10. He adds it to the three, which equals 13. 10 plus three is a lot easier to add than eight plus five, and DC is very proud of himself. DC can also do math with larger numbers. Watch out, DC. 78 plus 14 do not look like friendly numbers to add. He has an idea. He's going to take his mallet and smash the number 14 to decompose it into two and 12. I wonder why he decided to decompose 14 into two and 12. I think he's looking at that number 78 and trying to think of what the next friendly number is. DC is very excited as he's circling the 78 plus the two because 78 plus two equals 80. And when you add it to 12, you get 92. DC thinks that 80 plus 12 to add is much easier than looking at the math problem 78 plus 14. DC is so proud of his work. DC can also do harder problems when he's thinking of math. Watch out, DC. Nine tenths plus five tenths, these do not look like the whole numbers that he's been doing. He's now looking at it with decimals. Decimals are part of a whole, and so when he's decomposing, he might be thinking differently. I wonder what DC's idea is. He's going to smash the five tenths and decompose it into one tenth and four tenths. I wonder why he chose to decompose five tenths into one tenth and four tenths. I wonder if he's looking at that nine tenths and trying to think of how much a hole has in it. DC is going to compose the nine tenths and the one tenths. He's very happy because nine tenths and one tenths gets us that one hole plus the four tenths to get one and four tenths. DC just made the problem nine tenths plus five tenths a lot easier by adding one hole plus four tenths to get one and four tenths. DC is very proud of his work. Watch out, DC! What fractions? How is DC going to use this strategy now with fractions? With fractions, DC might look at this differently. Let's see what he does. He has an idea. He's going to take the five sevenths and smash it and decompose it into one seventh plus four sevenths. I wonder why he did this. When he's looking at fractions, he's trying to look at what the whole is, which is seven sevenths. So he's going to circle the six sevenths plus the one seventh to create that one whole. Once he has the one whole, he's going to add it to four sevenths. Certainly when you're looking at fractions, this looks a lot easier. One plus four sevenths equals one and four sevenths. Looking at that versus six sevenths plus five sevenths just makes math easy. He is very proud of his work with such complicated problems. DC did a great job solving all these problems with decomposing and composing. We can't wait for you to meet all of our MathMite friends and see how they solve their addition strategies. Check out sis4teachers.org for more videos to bring into your classroom.